Good afternoon everybody, welcome to another video. It's the 11th of January today. <laughs> I've got the month then, <laughs> it's the new year. 11th of January today. It's mid-afternoon now and I've come out just for a couple of hours till it gets dark to do a bit of small river fishing again as you can see behind me now. My first thoughts today were I'm going to go pike and zander fishing and then I thought that's a bit daft because the water is perfect colour up on that tributary to do some fishing there. There's about a foot or so of visibility. I thought, right, I'll do a bit of roving because my knee's playing up a little bit. Um, for those of you who don't know or new to the channel, I did my MCL about six weeks ago, something like that, so I'm struggling a bit. But um, so I thought I'd do a bit of roving and now I thought, well, my knee's a bit dodgy, so I have to do something a bit more static. So I decided to come to a stretch I've not fished before. It's on one of my club books, but I've just never fished it. And uh, bring the stick float with me, do a bit of trotting. If I can sit down doing that, I mean, it's not ideal, but I can sit down doing that if I need to. And I've sort of had a wander up the stretch, not too far. And um, what I've found is a bit of a bend up there, as you can see, water comes around, it's shallow, it's pushing through here, and then runs off nicely down there before a few more shallows the other side of the second tree up there. So there's a nice steady pool in here, which just looks nice for some fish. Um, to be honest, I don't know what I'll catch today. <laughs> I've just bought just minimum gear because obviously I don't want to be lugging it around. I've just got a landing net with me. Um, I have got a keep net because I don't think putting fish back in the swim straight away is a brilliant idea um, on such a small river. And I've got my Dower Tournament Pro 15 foot rod there with a drake stick float on there a alloy stem stick float i may change this out for one with a more sensitive top i think it's a little bit heavy for this i mean i, I don't know the depth well we'll find out but um, i think it's probably a little bit too unsensitive with that tip in so we'll change it out for a finer tip and we can dot it right down well, we can do that without breaking it down, I should say, because it's just held on with float rubbers. So I've got that. I've got my Abu Garcia 506 Mark II. Absolutely love close face reels for trotting. And that's it. I've got some Census 3000 gross guard on ground bait, but I'm going to mostly go with loose feed, which of course is going to be maggots. I have got some worms. I have got some bread. And that's it. Simple as that. So I'm going to get a little bit of ground bait in here just to get a bit of smell in the water. We've got a sort of back eddy in front of me. I'm not going to fish that. Um, I'm going to get out in the current, get it out in the flow. It's not even too rapid in front of me there really, but it's, it's a bit swirly. I don't think it'll be fished out there. But as we go, just five metres or so downstream, it all flattens out lovely. As I say, I've never fished here before, so I have not got a clue. Might be talking utter rubbish, but that's my reading of this swim. I'm not adverse to having a little bit of a move as well. We'll, we'll have a bit of a roam about if we want to do some different swims. We'll give it perhaps an hour in here. 45 minutes if we're struggling we'll have a move right got some all sorts of different colored maggots here got some reds some whites and some uh, discos all mixed in together so we'll slowly get some of those just trickling through the swim i'm not going to go too mad on the feed it's winter after all not too cold today but uh, it's going cold from today so we can uh, perhaps do some pike fishing later on in the week. Right, I'm going to get the, uh, get the rod set up and we'll have a go. So as I say, I have no idea of depth of water in here. I can't imagine it's too deep with these shallow bits in between the pools. So we'll start off about four foot. See how we get on. If we drag him bottom, we'll, uh, we'll obviously shallow up. It's not like... So that, oh, there we go, we've dragged under already. It's not like um, still waters where you can plummet. You can't really plummet on rivers. It's just a case of running the float through or not. <laughs> it keeps going under. <laughs> right, that's shallow up. We've gone up under a couple of times there.
I've left the uh, semi-domed stick float on at the moment just to get it to run down hopefully run down under those trees down there I'll be able to see it a lot better I think uh, I've set up in the sort of peg bit that's, that's, that's been cut out here but I think it might have been better off a bit further downstream Come on, we can always cast down. Just move downstream a tiny little bit. Just a couple of metres, just to get away from this boily water. So we've got a nicer run through. Yeah, we're just a little bit too deep. Shallow up a bit, just a couple of inches. Until we find a nice depth we can run through at. Just on a couple of maggots at the moment. I think maggots are going to be the mainstay of fishing, really. I'd say I've got worms and I've got some bread, but I'm not intending on using them. I say we might have a move further up. I've never been up here before. So it's just a bit of an exploring session. But it does look good for some, some trotting. It's just the right colour. Just the right amount of visibility, really. Well, oh, a really long run down under those trees. I'm not sure I had a bite or not down the bottom there. Didn't look didn't look like I got the bottom. keep trickling these maggots in. Shallows up a lot wherever I go down across the river. It uh, drags under. We'll give it another 20 minutes. We'll uh, keep the maggots going in. Just see if we can't uh, make, a, make a chub out. I suppose I'm not a bite off a uh, smaller fish. Dave's roach. Who knows what? Ah, we're in. <laughs> Not big, but we're in. <laughs> little chub. <laughs> Wonderful to see little chub in the river. Signs of healthy river. Oh, certainly not going to wet the keep net for this fella. Back you go. Perhaps 
they are uh, switching on a bit to the maggots. can sometimes take a few minutes to get get the fish to tune into the bait not easier when the river's clear but of course fish are a lot more cautious when the river's clear so you win and you lose Oh, it's not gone under. Float's not gone under there before. small fish. I thought I'd got the reeds for a minute but it's just thump thump thump. <laughs> Fishing's fairly light so we've got to take it easy. I'm sure it's a chub. That and there's more for now. Right in the edge I thought I had the reeds. on the other side trying to get in all the snags of course I think he might have achieved it come on out you come oh, there you go we got it mate not even a big one it's giving me a right beating <laughs> about a pound and a half if that so if we catch a three pounder it's been absolutely fun fab <laughs> lovely job well there we are just holding the net underneath him just uh, in case he flips but you'll have to excuse the fingers but uh, yeah wonderful <laughs> right we're getting to keep that thing <laughs> yeah funny old bites Float went under, but I was very close into these dying reeds in the edge. I thought it was those. And a thump, thump. Oh no, it's not reeds. Now, <laughs> uh, we're playing around with maggot colours. And that's obviously the first time I've had a nice fish. Decent bite. First run through as well. On a white and a fluoro. I'm on double maggot. So I was 18. So uh, we'll have another go. So it was very close in, but that is where the current is as well. So I may just be sitting down there. Hopefully, hopefully there's a few more to be had. Get out of the way, you can probably see. Floats running on, on the near bank. There we go. We get some bikes there. A couple of little taps. I suspected they're sitting just where the water smooths out. For those of you new to fishing and new to watercraft, I mean, fish like moving water. Obviously, um, you know, species like chub, barbel, dace, they love to be in the flow. But they're not going to want to be in this water down here, as you can see, it's all swirling and boiling. 
just too much effort, too much energy. They like the oxygen that is put in the water, but it's just too much effort to sit in that. So they'll sit just below it generally, you know, in where the water smooths. You want the top of the water really to be nice and smooth. Of course it's not always the case, but you know, it's just as a general rule of thumb. And that's where you catch all the biggest twigs. <laughs> yeah, it does go down where the water's shallowing up down there. About five, six, seven, eight meters before that next bit of shallow water that's where it all starts to shallow up wherever I am across the river it goes under there so that's clearly where it's shallowing up There we go. <laughs> I thought I had a bite down there a minute ago. I missed it. Now this one, a tiny little bit of bread flake. Oh, it's pulling this current. I'm going to have to get the line down there because it's down to those trees at the moment <laughs> somewhere. But let's try and get into that. Oh, there we go. Oh, I need to get myself in. Trying to get to clear of the trees now. Just trying to get into the foliage on the other side. Wonderful. Yeah, not a big one, but what's a scrap? Well, of course, it's trying to get under my feet. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Fab. <laughs> there we are. Another lovely chub. I don't know about pound. <laughs> Wonderful. I don't have to scrap though, it's current. Wow, fantastic. Right, as I said, that was on there. And bread in the net. Well, I think we'll stick it out in here for a bit. That's so I just made a just made a change to bread. Still got 18 on, but I just put a tiny, tiny little bit of bread flake on. It's very good eyesight, haven't they, Chubb? It may be that just covering the hook has, uh, has done the trick. I've got fluorocarbon hook link on one of my home tied ones I'll, uh, I'll stick a link up there for you, you can go and have a look how I tie these up I've got one of my fluorocarbon hook links on so that should be theoretically sort of invisible in water so maybe that just covering the hook has convinced them into taking it first time down I did have a, a bite down there unexpectedly and I missed it too late on it so I just went under and came back up again and then that time it went under, I was ready for it. Shame you can't see the float, but it's going such a long way down. <laughs> I don't think you're, uh, you're ever going to be able to, really. Just holding it back as well. Which is very, very easily done with these close face reels. I think it's covering the hook as well. It's uh, 
get stuck in the bottom less. So uh, more likely to bite, more likely to, to, to sort of float along the bottom or trip along the bottom without catching. So the uh, hook point's covered. I'm getting these bites down under that tree and right underneath it, which is where you'd expect to find chub really, of course. It's probably some roots in the water and also they used to live in there, perhaps under there in the summer. And there's lots of leaves on the trees. It's probably a lovely canopy to live under there. Keep feeding these maggots, even though we're fishing bread. Just for the occasional ball of ground bait going in as well. Down there, about where it is now that I've been getting bites these last few runs through. Somewhere there. There we go. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> this feels better fish. Keep them out of the outside vegetation or still keeping my rod down. Blimey. <laughs> Taking line off the reel. Oh, I can't get in with them. Into the cover. Come on, out. Ah! Oh, that was a better fish as well. I had to give him a bit to try and keep him out of the. Uh, so cover. Oh, that's annoying. What a shame. Oh. Yeah, the hook's still there. It just hooks popped out. Ah, frustrating. Trouble is as well. It's probably going to spook the shoal now. Ah. Yeah, that did feel like a better fish as well. Frustratingly. Never mind. We shall crack on. It wasn't huge, right? Don't get me wrong, but it was a nicer fish. <laughs> but that's a trouble. I can't. I've got to keep the rod down whilst <laughs> the fish is still under the trees. Because obviously, I'm going to get the line in the trees if I don't. So it's a bit of a balancing act and he went for the foliage under the trees and the tree roots. I had to give him a bit and uh, obviously I gave him a bit too much. It's a shame. Might be worth putting a slightly bigger hook on if uh, this bread's working. but if I get another one I'll be quite surprised <laughs> after that's just happened that's the bottom of the run Oh, I don't know, at least we're doing the right thing. Well, that may well have, uh, as I say, that may well have done for this swim. We'll give it another 15 minutes, see if we can get another bite. We'll change this hook link and, uh, as I say, we'll give it another 15. And if we can't get another bite, then I think we've, uh, we've done for the swim. It's not going to settle for a while, so it may be worth moving on. We can always come back go upstream we can always come back as we walk past down and have a few more runs in here on the way back
Yes. <laughs> a bit of slack out there, but not a big fish. It's gone down there a few times. It's probably a little chub. A little bit of bread. I missed it every time. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, a little chub. <laughs> well, just thinking. Shall I move? Shall I stay? Shall I go? Pheasant. Yeah, he wants me to go. Um, yeah, just can't decide. I'll consult the time. I don't know what time it is at all. Must be getting on. Let's look what time it is. Yeah, I must be getting on. I think we've probably missed the window to be moving. We've got about an hour, but if we do want to move, we really need to move now. The trouble is, like I said, I don't know this stretch at all. That's the problem. There's, I've walked past one nice run, but it's a bit, it's a bit near the car park from my liking. It's the car park run, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Where everyone probably fishes. But it does look nice and it's not necessarily a bad thing because there's lots of bait goes in there and there'll be lots of fish there too. We could go and fish there. It's only 100 metres or so down that way. I think I'll have a couple of more runs through and I'll go and have a quick look just up around this bend above. Over above us here, just see if I can see anything nice. Assuming we don't get anything in the next couple of runs through. But you know, it's took 15, no, 20, probably longer, it's probably been about half an hour now since we, uh, we lost that chub. It's taken that long just to get a bite off a, a little one like that. And that's come down in the same place. So guys, <laughs> I've had a walk up the stretch. The sun's gone down, as you can see. <laughs> but I've had a walk up the stretch. Found this little run here. Not going to be long trotting like we have been doing, but it's got to be some chub down here, surely. Surely. <laughs> got to be. Obviously, I couldn't get anything going in that swim since we lost that chub. Just nothing happening at all. So I'm just hoping could perhaps winkle another one out before, uh, before we lose the light completely. It's a nice little run through here. I think we're dragging bottom. Yep. It's a funny old river this. There's places where it's thin, places where it's wide. I mean, extremes. But more so the depth. I mean, there's places. Oh, excuse me, want to extract that off of my bag. Um, there's places where it's literally a few inches deep, and there's places a bit further downstream where it's it's you know 12 foot deep. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's a bizarre little river. It changes a great deal over a very short distance. But yeah, we'll give it a couple of goes on maggots just to get the depth. And then we'll uh, we'll run some bread flake past that overhang. These swans will get out of the way. been <laughs> well nothing doing here at all 
absolutely nothing. I think we'll have one more run through and then we'll have a wander back. I will go and spend the last few minutes on that run just by the car park. There's a, there's a, a run there. As I mentioned earlier, we'll go and uh, we'll go and spend the last few minutes there. I think because if there are any chub here, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. I was going to say if there's any chub here, I think we'll have spooked them, but I'm sure that was a bite. We'll have a bit of a bite, we'll have one more, one more run through, obviously. What's a bite? <laughs> well, looks like we are going to finish on a fish. Feels chubby, I think. Well, it's not going for all the cover, which is a bit strange. It was right out in the flow rather than tucked under that cover like I would expect. Now let's go for the cover now. There we go. <laughs> sure, it is a chub. Yes, a little one. <laughs> Well, blimey, come on, man. there we are, well, there are some chub here. <laughs> No monster, <laughs> but very welcome. I thought that previous run through, I thought I'd seen the float bob a couple of times, but it didn't go under. Right, we'll stick him in the edge here. Just, uh, perhaps we'll, we will stick it out here. Didn't get him in the edge nicely. There we go. We'll stick him in the edge and we'll perhaps have a few more runs through here. Well, that was a very enjoyable couple of hours down here. Really, really, really enjoyed that. Had a cracking time. Shame we lost that nicer chub earlier and uh, killed that swim. But uh, enabled me to have a little bit of a row further up and come and have a look at this stretch where it's all meanders round. It's, uh, it does look a nice river. I'm definitely going to be back as well to this stretch. As I said, I never fished this stretch before, so that was a nice little, uh, nice little couple of hours exploring and got to do some trotting as well. I'd have probably caught more fish if I'd have bought the the ledger rod and perhaps a link ledger or going on those small feeders like I like to do but really did fancy some trotting with the, the river in this sort of condition. Now from tonight onwards it's a very clear sky as you can probably see up there it's uh, frost time again frost minus one minus two at night and uh, three degrees in the day for the rest of the week so it's going to hit the uh, water temperatures I'm sure um, and knock them down so uh, things are probably going to be tough going for a few days and I'm probably not going to be able to get out now till the weekend anyway so um, won't be a problem <laughs> so yeah as I say I'm going to be back up to this stretch at some point but yeah I'd like to do some other things and go to some other places I mean sort of doing a bit in this this river for the last couple of weeks purely because it's been in the best condition of the rivers around here um, and even the Y has been not been in great condition but i do what as i said previously i do want to get over to the lug as well that's a small river similar to this it does look lovely so i do want to have a go on there anyway i'm waffling 
All there is left to do is to say thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. I had a absolutely cracking time. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.